بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دیئر اسٹوڈنٹس اینڈ ویئرس ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل ڈی جی نرن پوائنٹ دس ویڈیو پرووائڈس ود دی سولوشن آئیڈیا سولوشن اف دی اسائنمنٹ نمبر 1 اف انویسٹمنٹ انالیسز اینڈ پورٹفولیو مینجمنٹ پین 630 وچ از ریٹڈ ایز بینگ 2023 اینڈ اٹ از اے پارٹ اف دا ویچوئل یونیورسٹی ایگزامینیشن سسٹم اٹس ٹوٹل مارکس ار 10 آئی ہیو نو انفارمیشن اباؤٹ دس لاسٹ سبمیشن ڈیٹ سو ہیئر از دا کیس Uh, let's start st- reading the case. Hamdi Private Limited is engaged in the cement manufacturing business. The firm just completed its financial year on 31st March 2023. The firm could not meet the projected profit due to the current economic crisis and prices of the raw materials increased since last year. In Mohammadi's recent board meetings, its finance manager told its owners directors that the business may face operational risk soon operational risk the owners uh, operational risk means working and uh, working capital deficiency the owners got worried and asked him for appropriate actions to mitigate the risk mitigate means you are going to uh, reduce the degree of the risk he said that the business need additional funds of around rupees 5 million so in order to uh, m- mitigate their risk or operation risk the financial manager advised the uh, board of directors that we need uh, 5 million additional fund unfortunately the owners had already invested all their funds in his business means equity they have no they, the owners have no more money to inject into the business to avoid such uh first scenario upon further inquiry the finance manager su- suggests a bank loan of s- some uh, same amount after a little debate about the pros and cons of bank loans the owners agreed to the second choice bank loans on the next day the finance manager visited the credit officer of the credit department of the local bank to negotiate the desired loan of rupees 5 million He was carrying a set of recent years financial statements of Mohammadi as shown below. This is uh, income statement for the year ended March 31, 2023. And uh, here is the um, Mohammadi statement of financial position which is also known as um, balance sheet. And here is the requirements. First requirement is that before uh, reading the requirements, you just look at the income statement where we have two uh, where we have two uh, question marks which means that you have to be calculated these two values so before uh, move to the requirements the tax rate is 40% so when you will get uh, 40% of uh, 2 million so the value which you will get is 8 million and then you will subtract this 8 million from this 2 million you will have 1 point two million means 1200,000 data we will check in the excel sheet uh, where I have done uh, this solution so now come to the requirements Compute the farming getting ratios and evaluate the firms using these ratios in relation to the given industry averages. So that ratio, uh, humidity private limited not given, industry average is 0.6 times interest earned ratio not given 7, debt to equity ratio not given 1.5. using your computed values and evaluation in a <coughs> in a above you will will you approve home this known request either you are going to accept the <coughs> request of the home the loans of 5 million dollar or reject it if reject why if accept why you have to be given reasons either of the case so please read this uh, by yourself by carefully and uh, follow the instructions uh, in attempting your solution 
so let's move to the solution that I have made in the uh, Excel workbook so this is the information that we have given uh, in the statement I am going to be highlight this one and let me break this one and this one is the all given and this one is explanatory data that I have put in the column uh, under labor remarks so uh, I have exactly information as per these three ratios which are uh, part of the gearing ratio so uh, we need to that to that ratio means and that uh, divided by total uh, total that divided by total assets time interest earned ratio stands is equal to EBIT divided by interest expense total interest expense debt to equity ratio means total debt divided by total equity so that i have extracted from the balance sheet let me allow to balance sheet and balance sheet and uh, income statement and uh, interest income income statement and total assets balance sheet so uh, all these uh, five components have been derived from the uh, balance sheet and in income statements out of three belongs to balance sheet and two belongs to income statement so here uh, i have early told you that we will check the uh, two question marks uh, of the income statement here 2 million 40 percent 800 000 minus it from 2 million we will get 1.2 million or 400 thousand so it is correct now uh, one thing more i am going to share with you here that I just taken the total uh, long term debt okay I am I have not included even a single component of the current liabilities some according to some authors you have to be include the current liabilities as well but uh, for this uh, questions uh, in my opinion I am going to pick up the long term debt only and equity as well so uh, total asset is given 50,000 uh, 50 million so <coughs> Uh, divided by uh, total debt divided by total asset we will get this 0 0.4 times uh, ratio and uh, it again uh, times interest and in earning ratios EBIT is equal to 3 million divided by interest expense 1 million we will get this 3 uh, but look at the uh, industry average is, it is 7 which is far less uh, from the industry average value now that equity ratio this is the debt and equity is uh, where is equity 13 million 13.5 million 21.5 million as figure shows that the debt is uh, almost double of the uh, equity so look at this um, the private and debt to equity ratio is 1.6 which is slightly 0.1 is greater than the industry average 1.5 now look at the uh, remarks that will be based uh, that will be explain uh, all these values here in context of industry it is less or low uh, comparing with industry if you look at that that ratio it will be reasonable if it will be moved in between the band 30% to 36% it is little bit high uh, but uh, but less than the industry average now come to the interest and time interest and ratio is 3.0 as it, as it has high degree or high times value it means that that company has a more ability to meet its uh, interest obligation uh, from its profit but again this uh, value is uh, too much less than the industry so it shows that Mohammadi company is not enough able to meet its interest obligation from its profit. Come to the uh, last debt to equity ratio. I already, uh, I already told you that it is slightly greater than the industry average 1.5. This means that we have 0 0.6 asset and gas one dollar. That further it is slightly higher than the industry. It means company structure is based on the and that portion more as compared to the equity portion 
now come to the part b i will reject the application of 5 million loan because time instant ratio is too below and below than the this much uh, rachi the below than the industry ratio which stays company's weak position regarding please correct this regarding interest obligations regarding paying paying interest obligations so please correct this one uh, there is some problem in my <coughs> keyboard that to equity ratio is slightly higher than industry 2 which means that prominent component of capital structure is debt and by combining these two uh, ratios uh, we i have come to the conclusion that the company is not in a good position to, to whom the bank grant the uh, loan of 5 million i hope you will find this solution useful if you have any query ask me in the comment section please if you found any mistake regarding calculation or if you found any figure uh, typing error regarding any figure which is different from the uh, question statement please mention in the comment section uh, or if you want to discuss or uh, <coughs> discuss something or any point ask your questions in the comment section thanks for watching assalam alaikum